I just ain't through them. Zay look like his wardrobe all t shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't it's, mad at you, mine too. It's not. Jay Jay's wardrobe <laughs> is like when you see you like a cartoon character and you see that closet, there's a bunch of the same shit. That's that's Jay's closet right no, there. I got a lot of different it's, shit in my closet. It's SpongeBob and fifteen pairs of that y'all, little overall. Y'all didn't suit. see me when I went to work in Carrollton, so Yeah, the hard bottoms on. <laughs> yeah, nigga, them Stacy's, bro. Hey, Come hey, on, man. Do your thing, Stacey bro. Adams. <laughs> Give them something. I got a shitload of, of dress pants and button down. Mm. I appreciate you for saying Rap dress pants on. versus slacks. I hate the word. I, slacks, I've never used that term, bro. Like I've only heard that term used to me. My, I've mama, never... used, my mama used slacks, but she I don't... used slacks. Yeah, she used because you know, a nice pair of what slacks. What is about that word? <laughs> no, it, it just don't appeal to me. It's See, the dress man pants. wants you to wear slacks. <laughs> See, yeah, yeah, because he don't want she wants you to slack. Off in your responsibility. Stay woke, my brother. Oh. Think about it. You know what I'm saying? Just leave it up to <laughs> <laughs> leave it up to Minister Farrakhan. And... Where is conspiracy, brother? What we need, it? bro? I'm trying to tell you, man. Somewhere creating a fake ass. Uh, oh, never Lord. mind. Don't do it. <laughs> nah, dude. And ahead. we're back, Go ladies and gentlemen. It. Hey, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Mud Political Podcast, where we talk about everything. Never scared of anything, and we always for the culture. I go by the name of Michaela Pred. We got Jay here. Courtney is losing his mind somewhere. We don't know where he's at. Somebody would put out an APB for this nigga. Mm-hmm. You know Please. what I'm saying? We'll find him somewhere. It's cool though. <laughs> he's probably in the back sleep. I don't know. Yeah, let us know where he was at. <laughs> we got Sound Man here, Sound Manning, and we got Dirty Dej making us look crispy today, bruh. It's, it's, it's funny, man. We were sitting there talking about shopping, man. I feel like now, I I think I probably spend like $100 a week now just on like, because I work near the mall in Perimeter, right? Like my day job is near the mall. So, it's, you know, it's like in Sandy Springs area. It's a bunch of office buildings around there, yeah. right? So it's pretty close. I would just go there. Give me, I, I mean, I've eaten too much food court food recently, too. So I realized I got cut back on going oh, there. Yeah, fuck that. But it'd be, it'd be Chick, the Chick-fil-A up there. You know what I'm saying? So I'd be getting a little sandwich. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. But every at least once a week though, I fuck around and go in there and it's like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and buy some. I'm gonna see something I like, and I go to the same places just to see. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like a like a woman. Like I feel like women shop like this. I just wanna go and see what they got. Nah, they do. I just been going. I just been going to see what they got, and they be having stuff. So I'm like, ah. You go in the store and touch everything on the right. Everything, bro. I don't yeah. know what's happened to me. I used to just hate like shopping a woman, like that. When the store bro. not gonna have some. But, but sometimes I ain't got nothing you want, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when it's going out of business. Everything must go. Uh, bro, I be slick. Man. I, I be going in there knowing I ain't supposed to buy something and then be mad when I don't got nothing I want, though. Be like, man, you know, I still, I still would like to have to make the choice. You know? What's the not something you want? Uh, some, So what I do, I go to, like, the Nordstrom area of the mall. And, like, I go to, like, a certain couple stores, you know, like. I go to like Top Shop a lot, Top Shop section because they don't got no stores in the U.S. no more, like standalone joints. I'm like, the only way I can get them is at the Nordstroms and at Perimeter. So I go over there, see what they got. I get me some jackets, shirts, but a lot of times it's got like summertime shit still. So I'm like, I, it's 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 not for me. I can't do that. So or there's something that's just whack. Like I don't want that. You know, like the same denim jacket I saw 35 other niggas at Republic wear. Like I'm not doing that. You know what I mean? Like. I just can't do it. I like to have something a little bit, like, not, like, so different, but, like, not exactly the same. You know what I'm saying? You bought you a peacoat yet? I haven't bought a peacoat in, like, 10 years. But I still got mine from, like, 10 years ago. And it still looked good. So I kept it. You got to buy Is stuff. Is it that beige? No, nah, it's black. Oh, it's black. You look like you get, like, one of them tan beige I would get peacoats. one. I would get. I have a. I have a tobacco colored. That's tobacco. That's the you know that little base. You guys trying to place tobacco? (laughs) It's a darker brown. (laughs) (laughs) Tobacco, (laughs) tobacco coat. Uh, It's like a what do you call it? Uh, Not the fucking. Not like a raincoat. You know what I'm talking about? What the fuck are they called? An overcoat. Trench coat. Trench coat. Trench coat. Yeah, I got one of those. Those are fire though. That's really fire. Fire jacket. With the. the I got. Oh yeah. Yeah. I got the whole. You tie that bit. Come on, bro. Yeah. Clean. Yeah. Clean. Trench coats are cool though. But oh boy, we stop? I, I used to step in the court with them motherfuckers. Oh, you used to come in looking oh. like oh, he looked official as I fuck. Used to, I used to open the door on purpose, real hard, and pop. <laughs> my little flat on my shit. I don't know. You was know, that my shit. The flaps flat? Hell yeah. 
<laughs> Shit, I was the only nigga in the courtroom, bro. I had to yeah. let them know I that was there County. and I was clean. It is Carroll County. You have to go yeah. like that. That's a good point. I had to. Bro. I appreciate your professionalism, man. Yeah, I wish I, I could stay s- professional too. You I'm know, not I, gonna, I, I was. I wish I could have seen you in court. I'm not gonna oh, lie. I just want to be in the in the room when Jay's in oh, court. It was great. <laughs> It was great. Nobody wanted to look at me. I just want to see his face. I just want to see your facial yeah. expression. No, you don't. As his you, kids are getting reprimanded. No, you don't want to judge. See you you didn't want <laughs> to see these badass that. kids getting expelled. Oh, that was great. Oh my god, fucking great. Well, uh, I guess we have to talk. But we did obviously we wrapped up the uh, the uh, ATL's finest mm-hmm. series last week. So, I mean, th- I love these episodes because we can just kind of decompress. You know, we. have talked to hit certain subjects certain talking points we've had to kind of touch on and now we can kind of kind of relax you know yeah, really have really our decom- interlude, in our interlude man you know i feel like it's it's necessary i feel like it's people we got to decompress more often man you see motherfuckers be out here high strung as fuck mm-hmm. shit every day i'm on twitter it lets me know how unhealthy everybody is bro i'm like god Damn, we are fucked up, bro. Like everybody's so so angry and charged up about nothing. Yeah, niggas is arguing about vaccines still, still arguing about vaccines. That ain't going nowhere. They, they still they still trying to talk about talk, arguing about Dave Chappelle. Still, that's not going nowhere. I mean, it's crazy to see the kind of wars we're willing to get into on the internet. These like verbal assaults with people you've never met. Or never care to meet. Bro, I seen a I seen an argument the other day. Was that on social media, where niggas was mad that uh, what's the character from Halloween, Jason? Oh, Michael Myers. Yeah, Mike Myers. They was mad because they said he was killing gay people first in the movie. So they try. <laughs> Like what? So what they said he was homophobic? I yeah, I guess. Going, nigga, I, so they're trying to they're trying to cancel Michael Myers now? It makes no sense to How me, you bro. cancel the fictional character? It's going He's not real. It's going way too far now. That's so corny. Oh, that's going goofy. That's goofy as fuck. Are you like, serious? No, how we got something to say. What you got to say? Yeah, son? <laughs> <laughs> bro. It makes no sense. I've so First of all, what? I don't see how you. Hold on. I don't see how you get that mad at a character that's on a, a television. He show. killed everybody. What you right. mean? He's but homophobic. He killed, but he killed the gay people first. They've been killing black people first for years. They have, but guess what? I, apparently, the black folks in the movies been gay. <laughs> apparently, I don't know. I don't know why that's so funny to me. It's just like, but it's just like, damn. All right, come on. Like what? They don't got nothing else to talk about, bro. Well, as I said, like I feel like people are kind of like fake mad. Like what people yeah. people just like fake caring about stuff. Like that had to have been a joke, right? That's a joke, right? People are not actually upset about that, right? Nah. People are really mad. No, I I cannot fathom that you're gonna be mad about Michael Myers killing gay people first. If you mad at him, you you need to be mad at Quagmire because he been raping women on Family Guy for how long? How long that shit been out? 30 years, 20 years? Yeah, he's... Something like that. He's been... Yeah. He's wild, bro. Quagmire's one of the worst people on like, television. Like, what the fuck? He was a, yeah, that's he's a He's looking a at little kids, like, he's talking a about... He's a character. Like, yeah. And nobody tried to cancel that nigga. The old man the pedophile. The old yeah. pedophile man who's yeah. trying to fuck Chris and Family Guy. That's true. <laughs> Come on over here. What you got there, Chris? <laughs> yeah, that little whistle, whistly-ass <laughs> voice he's got... <laughs> Oh, nobody say nothing about him. Oh my God, man! It's fucked up. But see, that's the thing, though, man. I feel like people are—we're in this weird space where people can't separate fantasy from reality mm-hmm. because every, because we've created this atmosphere where everything is validated, everything is supposed to be supported. Just because you think it, then it then it is then it is done, kind of yeah. thing. You know what I mean? So now it creates this space where you can now put this fictional character in a role of importance just because you didn't personally like it so now it's now it's valid because you feel it mm-hmm. well i feel he's homophobic and my experience matters so don't invalidate my experience by telling me that i shouldn't be outraged about michael myers killing the gay people first even though he's been killing people for decades it's, gonna, we- it's gonna get to a point where folks are just gonna be like i don't give a fuck who you who you think to be canceled i don't care 
Yeah, no, nah, it, it's. I don't know. I, I don't know where it stops. I mean, it's, it's cancel culture. I mean, I guess it's it's funny because I feel like every comedian on earth is fighting against cancel culture, right? From the Dave Chappelle's, the Joe Rogans, to the mm -hmm. Burt Kreischer's, to whoever you could think of, to the Andrew Schultz's of the world. Like everybody's fighting against this notion of cancel culture. And I, I, I was thinking about it, and I was like, does it even really exist, though? No, it's. Just... I mean, like, what is cancel culture exactly? Is it simply just like the galvanizing, the mobilizing of the internet forces against one particular individual or thing? Because if that's the case, then yeah, that's it's not just really much, media, bro. you know. Because because like he was talking about Dave Dave Chappelle getting canceled X Y and Z after after he's doing like arena tours right now that are sold out right now. Like you can't cancel people, I don't think. I mean, you can stop supporting them, but. I think most I find that most of the things that people try to cancel each other for are not really that inflammatory. Like, because mm -hmm. everything's offensive right now, everything's so offensive. So you get this space where everything is offensive and outrageous, then that means that nothing is truly ever outrageous. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? If everything falls into that spectrum, then nothing's outrageous at that point. It's all bullshit, man. Yeah, I, I don't. Twitter's the worst place I've I ever been, not. and I can't stop. I can't stop going. I just want to see the world burn, maybe. Twitter I don't know. Like that, <laughs> Twitter just got so chaotic. Oh, Twitter's chaotic, man. You can see anything on Twitter. You can see somebody get shot. You can yeah. see people argue. You can see people have sex. It's crazy, man. There's hella porn on Twitter. But Twitter at like 10 o'clock at night is like, wow, there are so many titties here. What's happening, bro? Uh, yeah, on this nigga page. Courtney yeah, page. That's probably, you know what? That's what it is. Cause see, now he can't defend follow, himself. We can yeah, talk about him. Following that nigga, That's <laughs> I am following see. him, and he retweeting titties yeah. and shit. I'm like, God damn it! I don't even get on Twitter like that. But when I do, that's the only thing I see. And I be like, is retweets from Courtney? Who the fuck is is tweeting this shit? You see Courtney Gray retweeting hey, Courtney, Gray. Courtney Gray. <laughs> it's just, ain't nothing but titties and it, ass and, and I'm fucking. Like, All right, I, we see what he what's on his mind randomly at work <laughs> in the middle of his work shift. <laughs> He'd be on the phone with. Uh, yeah, Dave, just uh, looking at titties. Man, who you, got who a problem, you hit? Bro. You hit? You hit? Who in the car? All right, sir. That's a uh, god damn. <laughs> damn, that's some. Yo, speaking of porn, bro, I I was saw this article. There saw this article basically that was saying that you know porn perpetuates like uh like basically like violence against women and shit, right? Like violent sex, mm -hmm. and like most of it is male is men dominant. Like seventy percent of porn or something is like. Dominant is seen as like men dominating situation, right? Like, and it like basically showing how it like promotes like a level of rape culture, right? Mm -hmm. And it promotes that kind of thing. And I was wondering, does that you think that's also an influence on people that just like aggressive sex? So I don't know. Have you dealt with any women that enjoyed aggressive sex? Like they wanted to be choke me, fucking all this, all this shit. You know what shit I'm saying? Is weird to me, Bruh so it's not just me, right? I'm terrified of the aggressive sex bitches. I'm like, because Wait a I minute. feel like it's a lawsuit waiting to happen. It's a setup, right? <sighs> like, they, like somebody is 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 out to get niggas. <laughs> I'm looking at her like, bitch, what you want me to do? But the thing is, there's a lot of dudes that really love that shit too, so they're willing to do that. But like, you can't do that with a stranger, can you? Like the first time you fuck somebody, you can't do it like nah. that. Right, nah, that's just looking for a misunderstanding. Yeah, I thought you. Well, I didn't. Because you don't now know you, that. Now person you fucked at up. All. Now she got bruises around her neck that you thought she asked for. Because you know she, she could. She could have been playing. She could have been like, "Oh, choke me," and, and like in a playing way. But here's bro. And then your ass be like, "Oh, I like this shit," and then it's a rap. Then her ass dead. That was what happened to Bill Cosby. Oh man. One bitch let him fuck her when she was asleep. Like I like being fucked when I'm teetering on the, the edge of consciousness. And it, it hooked him. And then he couldn't stop. <laughs> Damn, Bill. Nah, nah. But, but, like, that's the thing, too, though, man. Because, see, here's the thing, too. I would get in these situations where a woman would be like, you know, I know I might be saying no, but, like, I don't really mean no. Fuck that. Yeah, no. I'm not, no. Nope. I'm not doing that shit. I was raised properly. Yeah. If you Fuck say, that. nah. You say you no. Mm -mm. Shit done. But that's the thing. Who are these niggas that just extra ex even more aroused that, oh, she said no? Oh, fuck yeah. I'm like, what? Oh, which niggas out here like that? Bruh. Bruh. And they outside, like, you yeah. know, like teaching your kids swimming lessons. Oh, that was God. the same, them, them, them the same niggas, man. You know? 
You dropped your kid off there to learn how to swim. Meanwhile, this nigga personal life, he's borderline a psychopath. It's a is that psychopathic or is that just a kink? Is. I don't know, no, but it's, it's a, weird. It's a, it's a kink. It's, <laughs> it's a kink. It's a kink? Because it's a lot of niggas like that, and I don't believe all them niggas is psychopaths. Crazy as fuck? Yeah, I don't believe There's that. something. That, that's something kind of wild kinky, about that, bro. though. It's, I but, seen a nigga on Facebook the other day. Some girl wrote, she said, uh, she said, write in the comments what y'all be writing in my DMs. Oh, no. Niggas started going nuts bro. why did they even set why did they accept that challenge oh, they, didn't give a, they didn't give a fuck. your name is attached to that they didn't care <laughs> some dude wrote a paragraph he was like i will eat your ass why and spitting your like he was why bro, are niggas so he, nasty he bro? was being just disgusting and i'm like whoa this nigga is out here in the public just letting out all his business bro and who, she was condoning the shit but my thing is I who I are name, these women that I guess it's not their fault. I don't know, man. I feel like, is that a daddy issue thing? I don't know if that's true. I'm just speculating, so nobody come at me harshly. I really don't fucking know. I'm genuinely curious, right? But, like, if you prefer niggas to fuck you in this particular type of way, like, primarily, like, what does this say about, does this, does that have anything, does it say anything about who that person is or what they've gone through in life? I think so. I would, I would, I don't know. I feel like there could be a correlation. Me playing armchair psychologist, you know? Yeah. I don't like, know. It's like, damn, you really like niggas choking you and like really fucking like this is this is tough. Like, damn, this this is very aggressive. When you say no, you want niggas to not think it's no. Like, what the fuck? And that is very dangerous, bro. Bruh. In today's climate, bro, I just Hell. wouldn't do it. But like, she's clearly a landmine. Yeah. She's clearly a landmine. Like, I gotta step over this one. Mm-mm. Fuck that. Yeah. Uh. Like, no. Like like Mike Lowry to end of Bad Boys too. Like you know? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, bro. Like Yeah, it's it's Bro, people people are fucking So how do you I, ha- okay, go ahead, uh, go, no, go ahead. no 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 go ahead. How, how do you handle the aggressive sex tricks that in your like how did you handle that? I would bro, I'd be too shocked, bro, to just <laughs> <laughs> Niggas gonna I'd think, be like, go what ahead. I I wouldn't do what they ask. Mm-hmm. I just act like I ain't hear them. Because <laughs> I, I wasn't about to. It wasn't about to be no choking and. Put your arm around my neck. Yeah. Do what? It wasn't about to be none of that. Put shit. your hand around my neck. I like. Mm. You want me to put them in a triangle? Put your own hand around your neck. <laughs> and all that shit. Yeah. Like, bitch, you Choke do that out. shit. I ain't. Mm-mm. No. Because then that would have been me on the news. I think, like. There are, yeah, there's two there's several types of niggas out here, right? Some that are like us that are like a risk averse when it comes to some shit like that. It's like, oh, this don't look right. You know. Largely these risk averse natures that we have have kept us out of jail in bad situations. Yeah. Right? But we all know niggas who who just don't who, give a fuck. Who've done that shit and then that shit backfired on them. Bruh. Yeah. I know I know some niggas that just Yeah. They thought the situation was something else and then afterwards, the girls like Next thing you know, you done Choke this chick, spit in her face. <laughs> he, th- he thought the shit walked away. Man, that shit was crazy, right? Good, now you, good time. See you later. They like, got several <laughs> charges, nigga. Now you sitting in. Now you sitting in Muskogee County Jail, nah, nigga. Muskogee County. God damn. Nigga in Columbus. That's a problem. That's one problem. of the worst jails in the state. Is it really? I ain't never heard mm-hmm. nothing about it. I don't know nobody that went to jail in Columbus. Like personally in my life, oh, but you I also did. went to school out there, so yeah, a lot of niggas had some unfortunate evenings, I suppose, out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, man, I I ain't gonna harp on this too much, but it, it is funny. I feel like we run the risk when we talk about it in this way. I feel like I always run the risk of sounding like I'm a vanilla ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, damn, this nigga won't do shit. Look at this sorry motherfucker. Nah. I'm like, I, I mean, but I'm just saying, like, it's a little dicey. You nah, know what I'm saying? I don't it's play little, them games, bro. You can't you can't do that shit today. Everybody got a phone. It's it's just too much access to everybody. Like you, yeah. you never know. True. A bitch could say something and then she could have her phone on the side like this. That's terrible. Watching your ass. Not 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 the Donald Sterling. But fuck that nigga. But yeah, like that. Yeah, fuck you know that what I'm nigga. I don't know why you brought that nigga up, but I know, I know. Of on a lighter niggas. on a lighter note, it is Halloween today, right? It's Halloween today. I don't ever celebrate Halloween. 
I was thinking there was going to be some kids walking by trying to ring my doorbell, so I unplugged my doorbell. I was wondering why that bitch didn't work. Yeah, I unplugged that shit because I don't. I've never given candy in this house. Does that make me a Scrooge? I just never have. No, I don't give candy out, but just turn your light out. I be I be trying to be outside looking at them, but like I don't don't come here. <laughs> I mean, just be outside and just be like I don't got no candy, but you can just yeah. turn your light out if you in the house. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah, they ain't gonna ring the bell. That's true. <sighs> It's funny. Every time I tell that story, like I feel like every woman that I tell that story to is like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you so mean? <laughs> why why don't you like children?" Like, I mean, I don't hate the children. They just, you know, stay the fuck out of my house. <laughs> they just want some candy, bro. God nah, I'm damn. good. I used to I used to be begging too, but I just I just don't. I'm not. A, I don't know. Maybe I'm not a. Uh, a cheerful nigga. <laughs> nah, nigga, you a Scrooge. I, see, see, you said it didn't make me Scrooge. Now nah, we're coming back. Now, bro. Damn, man. Bah humbug. That's like I, I did think about getting the little uh getting the little bowl and putting it out. Nah, but like not by gone. the door though, but like by the edge of the steps. Don't walk all the way up. It's right there. Damn. Yeah, just put it right there. I don't know, man. These kids be bad. I don't be liking these kids in this neighborhood anyway. I don't so, even be seeing a lot of kids out they here. They be out bro. here. They be out here. Not mm-hmm. That's fucked up. It's not fucked up. I don't give candy out, but I don't I give just... candy to white children. How about that then? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not... only doing it to the black kids. <laughs> you're so not giving unless out. the No, there'll be black kids that be trick or treating over here because they know the white houses are over here. So they be coming over here. I'll give them some candy, man. They know the houses with the but I don't know how to how to summon them without alerting the whites. You know? <laughs> how do I summon Hey you ah, sh- 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 no not that damn no, keep, uh, I'm out of candy. No, your, but you, you still come over here, though. Keep your window open <laughs> and and have a stereo right there mm-hmm. or something. Blast some little baby. And white kids like that shit, too, now. That's the problem. But the white parents ain't going to walk up to the house. Ah, They're going to avoid They're going to walk by the house. That is a good point. And they hear the little baby. Black kids like, oh, shit. Yeah. This look, this is my, this is like my theme song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the bat signal to niggas. <laughs> <laughs> it is the little niggas. Yeah, put some little baby. Scare all the dirty Air Force One wearing whites away. Got to get those niggas about the paint. Isn't that shit terrible? Like that would, I feel like dirty white. I mean, uh, white Air Force Ones used to be like a symbol. Like, oh, you, your shit clean. You know, keeping them pristine meant something. Now all of a sudden you can wear them scuffed, the creased up, t- wear them tight as shit. Like what the fuck? Boy, <laughs> like how are your laces so long? Oh, they're tight. They're very tight. <laughs> yeah. I remember having to clean them shits like every week, bruh, bruh. Can you slick really need two pair? One that you can care little less about than one that like I'm going out in these. Yeah, I'll but get, but like you gotta have got your one for the year. Yeah. I understand. Had to make that shit last. No, that's a fact. That's what Nigga, I had to do. The first day of school was stressful. Yeah. Oh, trying, bro. When you had to learn how to walk, man, you had to learn how to walk in the proper way. So not to look crazy, but still not crease your shoes up. I used to just be like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck no more. Yeah. And it'd be like third period. I'd be like, fuck it. Man. I never tied mine, though. So like it shit. made it a little easier not to crease them because they weren't so mm. tight in the first place. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. but see, we adults now though, so I got a couple pairs. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Fuck it, I'm grown, mom. I'm gonna get more than one. <laughs> I don't gotta make it stretch. Who the fuck talks to their mom like that? <laughs> what was that? There we go. It's going, we're going. We're going back to this. We're going back to this. Jay, is what we're doing. That's what, that's what we're doing. I don't give a fuck, mom. I got my own pair. God damn it, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking unisex name. I got. Oh, that's where we're going? <laughs> that's where we're going, bro? I said what I said, nigga. All right. <laughs> it's all good. This nigga going on his phone immediately. I don't know what he's got written down. Oh, no. Pre-written. I'm trying to make it, make sure everything all right with Cuzzo. Mm. I ain't uh, seen Cuzzo ass in a minute. Yeah, he coming. Bring his ass around, mobile. Make sure that nigga, make sure that nigga ain't lose his mind. Uh, almost did. Some pussy. Oh no! Yeah. After all the conversations we had, yeah. he almost lost his yeah, mind over some thing. over some box. Yeah, like bro, right. <sighs> man, it's just like bro. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> bro, nah, it, stupid. Hey, but we've all fell into that trap, man. 
yeah. at that age. You know, we've all fallen into various, various uh, vaginal schemes, is what I call. Oh them. man, <laughs> they were schemes. They were. They they were. They, they, were, they, came. Schemes, they were schemes, though. They it was some bullshit. <laughs> like damn, I fell for this. Wow. And when you think back on it, bro, you elaborate, know. elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> the listeners want to know. The the vaginal scheme they, they they run deep. All right, no pun intended. <laughs> nah, man, but I mean, like, for instance, you know, when you be in college or something, man, and you, I feel like when I when I think of a scheme in that in this way, you know, it's something where you thought you had control of the situation, and it turns out you had no idea what was going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, where or you you felt like you had control, and you really just had you were just out here guessing, right? There was many times in my in my career. I'll say. <laughs> Where my I, career. You, yeah. My career, nigga. What you mean? <laughs> I've had many careers, but this one everybody knows. No. <laughs> no, man. No, I feel like, you know, there's been many situations where I've walked into them like thinking, you know, I'm gonna get this at X, Y, and Z out. I'm gonna get some I'm gonna get some some sex, you know, I'm going to get, you know, some companionship, right? I'm going to be able to do that and keep a G and be able to rotate a few in. I don't even care if they know each other. Fuck it. I'm going to be able to pull that off, right? Mm. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> what <about you? laughs> Wrong. Well, I look, this is this was my arrogance at the time. Like, I damn. thought I could do anything. <laughs> said, I had little, I had a little bit of success. I got I got my first little taste of the nightlife, right? You know what I'm saying? Like three stacks said, next thing I knew, I was like, damn, I, I was so engulfed in the OE, I never made it to the dough kind of shit. You know, it was it was bad. It was Damn, bad for bro. me, bro. Like I, I went in. So okay, so here's, here's, here's an example. Here's an example. Here's an example. Here's an example. I uh I went to uh so <laughs> yeah, I can't believe I tell this shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um so I went Yeah, no, we're here. We're here. So it's like it's like I wanna say maybe so, like near the end of sophomore year of college. So yeah, probably the, either they, probably like the summer between sophomore and junior year. Of yeah, specify. Yeah, specified. yeah, I got <laughs> very specific. <laughs> and uh, I was, you know, I started talking to somebody out, you know, Spelman or whatever. You know, I started talking. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It was cool. Mm. You know, I was I was reeling. I was reeling from a, revi- a previous breakup, so I was in beast mode. Oh, fuck these hoes. That's one what I want. I gave two years of my first two years of college to to you, <laughs> just to get no explanation. This is ridiculous. I was hurt. I was hurt like a motherfucker, man. I was out here, but I was doing bad. I was look, I was looking bad out here, bro. I felt like I looked cracked out, bro. I was, I, that's how I felt on the inside. Like, damn, this nigga not doing good. But I was holding it together. I was holding it together, boy. You know? Ain't nobody check on me, bro. I was just sitting here just fucking up. Oh, man. Just trying not to feel feelings. Said two years and no explanation? Bro. None? Zero. Every time I think about it, I get done. I know that shit hurt. Bro, what the fuck? What you mean? Just a man just wandering, bro, lost, confused. Oh, man. You know? Don't know if it's me, but. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I got I to gotta occupy these feelings somehow. All this hurt I'm mm-hmm. feeling, I got to get this, you know, I got to, you know, navigate away from that. You know, I got to distract myself. So I started talking to this one with a girl, man. And then I, I was back at Spelman at another party, and I found somebody else. And we all know Spelman's got like, 200 people per class, right? Mm-hmm. Ain't there many people that go there, right? Now, they happen to not know each other, right? But let's just say this, I, I was kind of like stringing them along for a little while. They were older than me, right? So they were about to graduate. This so happens. They walked off the stage like right after each other. <laughs> so I got invited to the little graduation and I, I said I couldn't go to... Both of them gave me invitations. I just went to the after that. I couldn't go because I knew I was going to assassinate my career already. Yeah, I couldn't do rap. that. I couldn't do that. But put it this way, man. Of course, they found out about each other and then started c- talking to each other and plotting against me. I'm like, ain't this a bitch? So then all, then all of a sudden, both of them just pull up to the house at the same time. And I'm sitting here looking stupid. I'm like, damn. W- what a coincidence. What brings y'all here? <laughs> first Did of, you piss your pants or shit? 
Um, what you do? I drizzled a little bit, but you know, fuck that. Just a little, just a little drizzle. You ain't had no peep holding. I mean, I no, no. I saw him pull up. Fuck that. Nigga. I saw him pull up, man. Yeah, I used to just stay in the house. In the situation. I mean, like I, that. I, I, just... I tried to, mm-hmm. but it was like I, I still had no fear. I was like, mm-hmm. you know, what, what is this? You know, I could maybe get myself out of this. I couldn't. I thought I could though. Um, but ultimately they just, you know, end up taking turns telling me how ain't shit I was. And I basically lost about a year. I mean, I was doing that for like a year, for like a year or two. So <laughs> 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 I pulled that off for like a year. Oh, so it was man. really bad. And I was like, damn, I really like distracted myself from like other things that I like that I need to do on some juggling, you know, spinning plates, vaginal scheme. Right. Which made no sense to even do. At that time, I bet they best just friends get, now. Just to get caught at the end, they right? best friends. Now. They're super mad. They were hurt. I felt bad because I ain't dislike y'all. I ain't, I just wanted what I wanted for me. I wasn't really considering you, but I wasn't. I didn't really want like to hurt your feelings for real. I just wasn't willing to consider them at the time, right? I wasn't in that kind of space because I yeah, I was so fucking hurt. I couldn't even really consider nobody else's feelings because I was running away from mine, you know. So. It, it so happened, you know, hurt people, hurt people shit. So it just so happened that that's how that went down. You know what I mean? I felt bad. But then this is this is this is the oddity of women. Both of them called me back like a week later trying to talk. It staggered at different times. One was a week later, one was like a month later. And we're serious about it. You know, I just feel like maybe you're in a, a tough place and I can help you through that. Like, ah, oh, look at you trying to fix me. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> and then it starts all over again, Jay. Oh, <laughs> Nobody Damn. learns anything. Are they friends? I have no idea. I don't think so. Definitely not. They're definitely not friends. I don't they think they really friends. like each other. But, nah. Hey, you know. When women team up on niggas, bro. They become best friends instantly. Yeah, it seems that way. At least for that time when they were hating me, it they probably were best friends. You know, it's real easy to bond over a mutual nigga you can't stand. Mm-hmm. You know, definitely is. But you know, they believed in my sincerity that look, man, I'm just a broken nigga, and I just didn't. I'm sorry. It was fucked up. I a whole lot of lies were told. Granted, that I'm is, aware that has never happened to me. I understand, man. Maybe you know, maybe you just wasn't laying it down right. I mean. I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it happen to niggas. <laughs> I have seen it happen. Nah. To oh, well, you got a, uh, but they got caught up. Yeah, and I had to help them. That's getting caught up. Yeah, it's funny too, man. Because when you get caught up, it's also like relieving. You're like, oh, thank God, I don't got to keep keep this up, this shit up anymore. Like, it's scary at first, and you're like, well, what's the worst thing that happens is that I'm just go back inside, and I have no responsibility to these people anymore. Yeah. When you really think about it, it's like you kind of want to get caught sometimes. You're just like, man, just, just, I'm tired of this. So yeah, I. Yeah, no. If she come, if some, if some, if some that was back, my problem, bro. Come I... back, start shooting. That's a problem. Yeah, now we have... I mean, she will get shot back now. <laughs> she will be shot. Don't come to my house and start shooting, bitch. I've trained. I practiced this. <laughs> you will be shot. We ain't calling the police. We'll call oh, them man. after. Fuck that. I don't think I've ever been... I ain't been in no... Bad situation like that? Where I had... Yeah. Two women that I was, like, actively talking to... Right. ...show up. I've had... I've had girls... Like that, I wasn't talking to come to the house when I had a girl at the house, um, and they bust in that bitch. Wow! Yeah, they whoa! Like my back door wasn't properly secured. <laughs> I, I had an uns- <laughs> like, had a like you could lock back door. you could lock it, but if you just push on it hard enough, oh no, both the doors were open. Damn! And, and they once. knew that. Yeah, they knew that. <laughs> <laughs> it happened one night, and I was on the couch with a young lady. Yes, and. You know, we was chilling, we yeah. was conversing and yeah. having a good time. Yeah. Everything was about to go down. Get going. Yeah. And then three girls bust. Three through. girls. Three. Yo, like you ever what? seen you ever Trying seen to like ambush? Bruh. It 
What the fuck? You ever seen like the Three Stooges when one head is on top of the other? Yeah. When they peeking through the door? Through the door? That's how the fuck yeah. they was when they came through my door. Wow. Because they was like peeping through the blinds, then the fucking door opened. Why were they so upset? I don't, I don't know. No, you know. I, you know. I don't know. Don't do that. I don't. So, okay, so they just, what did they say when they bust in then? They were cackling and they looked at me they and, they, <laughs> and they walked the fuck out and shut the door. What? Yeah. Kind of suck. What that? What the? What the fuck was the point of that? I don't know. How did you know these women that broke in? Like, cause they all seem to know your faulty door, so they've been over before. Yeah, they have. <laughs> <laughs> did you talk to any of them before? No, not on no serious. Mm-hmm. Like, nah. I I fucked one of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was it. Okay. But that is weirdest shit ever. I wasn't. Nigga. I don't know what to tell you, bro. I would have had to get a new door after that. Bro, I couldn't get no door. It was, at the, it was in school. Nigga, it was a dorm. It was a terrible living accommodations. It was. <laughs> it well, you, was. Like, the, my door don't really lock. The only good part was... Nigga could rob you anytime. Yeah, but niggas ain't know that the door was... Right, I got you. Like that. <laughs> Till the, word the, gets out. The fucked up evil part bitches. was... Well, the best part was... One day, it was this girl I was talking to. This, I'll tell you after this. Yeah. <laughs> it was a girl I was talking to. She was an RA, and she worked, like, right across from my, my dorm room. Yeah. And she would see my car sitting outside my room, mm-hmm. and I was trying to avoid the fuck out of her. Right. And she she seen me one day. When well, she seen my car, I had that red fucking neon, which everybody fucking knew. She pulled up. Knocking on the door, and I had a door on one side and a door on the other side. Mm-hmm. She really couldn't. If you if you came to this side, you couldn't see the other one. I had another girl I was talking to. As soon as this fucking girl left, she came from the other side, fucking knocking. Yes. Ain't no yes. Yeah. Nigga, I was trying to go get something to eat. Hey man, look. And I wasn't trying to talk to nobody, bro. Game don't stop. The game don't stop. The game don't stop. Fuck that game, bro. That shit was just way too stressful, bro. It, it can be stressful. Who the fuck want to go through all that? I understand. Trust me. Who? I get it, man. That's a... Ju- trying to juggle more than one person is is definitely... You got This is how you got to move your head all day. You looking around. You can't even leave class without looking around. You, you'd have to set it up so specifically that it would... Especially in college, you no one's going to have the capability to pull that off. Cause you ain't even thinking on that level. Cause it's not even it's just not very like thought out. Like you just doing it because you can. That's that's the whole reason you do because you y'all can. had a lot of space to mm-hmm. maneuver. Okay, right. You okay. Had, you was at Georgia State. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You had a lot of space. Oh, like opera. Okay. Go ahead. And y'all smack dab in the middle of downtown. Yeah. So you got you got civilian folks and you got students that's everywhere. True. That's true. Nigga, we just had students. Everybody knew. <laughs> yeah, you can't get away. With everybody, shit with everybody can't get away. You with don't want to fuck no local thing. Columbus too much, man. The, you don't. You don't like the Columbus talent down there, bro. You ain't like what was what Columbus had to offer. Nick, you been to Columbus? <laughs> yeah, Alabama. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that. It's Phoenix City. Yeah, yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> that's what it is. Phoenix fucking city, bro. No. Hell no. Oh, man. What you mean? It's dimes everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about? Oh, boy. Tell you what. Savannah no, has no. terrible talent. Really? Savannah was not looking. I was very underwhelmed. I believe it. I was like, dance is bad down here. I believe it. There's not a lot of good looking people down here. Well, you just used to Atlanta probably. Bro. It was so blatant that every time like a group of us sat down, people stopped and said how good looking the table was. I'm like, oh, this is bad. I didn't think we looked that good, honestly. I was like, I mean, yeah. Like every time a group of us went out from the film, we, like I was like, see, I don't get a lot of people, huh? Yeah. You felt like you was that nigga, though. No, nah, honestly, man, I didn't because I was not um, like... There are other people on that set that were that had much more uh, clout than I did, so I have to say. So you ain't, you ain't walking around with your chest out a little bit, man. I, I okay. I'll give you this. 
at the hotel, the concierge, she was just in love with me. She was so excited mm. that people were filming. And you thought you was Denzel. She thought I was Denzel. I thought I was Mikkel, but I wasn't going to tell her no, I wasn't Denzel. You thought you was Denzel, too. I know you did. No, nah, man. I, I know, okay, all right, all right, all right. Only for a second, but then I, okay. then I snapped back. Okay. Then I snapped yeah. back to reality. Yeah, oh, there goes did. gravity. You know what I'm saying? I didn't I ain't you mean did. to. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you did. I know you, bro. <laughs> bro, okay, for just, but just for a second. But it was it was kind of cool to see why I was excited because of that. It was it was interesting. You know, I had never really experienced it. Because I, I experienced it every day because she worked there. She worked the desk. I walked past her every day. She was so excited. So excited. And then all the little people that worked there was getting excited because she was so excited. I was, and she was like one of the managers, so I was like, "This is crazy." How many autographs you signed? I ain't signed no fucking autographs. Nobody even does that anymore. People still do that. I thought people just took pictures. I thought the picture was the new autograph, like the selfie. You know, how many of those you got? None. None. I'm low key, man. You know, I ain't, you know, I ain't trying to. Oh, okay. You know, I ain't trying to be out. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, where this nigga go? He probably had, he had his shirt open. That's hilarious. That's how he was when we went to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere we went, we just went to the restaurant. He's got the trash out. Like, where, bro? What is you doing, bro? <laughs> it's hot, bro. It's hot in Florida. What you mean? What are you that goddamn hot? It was nigga? hot. Nigga, it was at night. The beach but, is cold. This it nigga, wasn't. The beach was not out, cold. Stick out there, just. Don't listen to anything Jay says. <laughs> Literally anything Jay says is gonna be a lie. Right? Come now. on, bro. <laughs> Come on. Hey, man. We need to go back though, for real. We do. Niggas need to take another. We can take a, a, another pod trip. That was fun, you know. Get out and fucking do some, do a pod out there. Would y'all like that? Should we, should we, viewers, would you would you like a, a a road trip pod? We're down to do it. Just let us know. Without yeah, there we go. Working. Let us know in the uh, in the comments. Let us know. We'll, we'll we could make something happen if y'all want it. We'll do it, man. I need a vacation anyway. What the fuck. We could stay at the same spot, bro. Yeah, I ain't mind it. Even though it was hood, it was hood. It was hood on the outside. It was very hood. Inside was nice though. We had a little back area, which I was happy with. You know, it's hard to tell what things look like on Airbnb though. Yeah, it is. Because like, people, it's just so hard to tell what the outside scenery is. Like, you you could see what your individual space should look like, but it's hard mm-hmm. to even get the dimensions of how big it is. Yeah. You know, it's just really like if they don't put the square footage, you don't really know. You have no clue. You was like, look, I hope it's all right. Everybody's crossing their fingers when they show up to their their Airbnb. Like, boy, I hope this is what they said it was. I know I was. Boy, I hope this is okay. I'm pulling up. I'm like, right, damn. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I hope, yeah, and I know. I hope it's nice. I would have told you it was fucked up though. No, there first. I wouldn't like this. ain't shit. I don't know if you. I would have said something. I would have said know. something. I wouldn't have had a choice. Be like, you gonna see it anyway. <laughs> yeah, you probably just would let me come. Like, well, check it out for myself. We can find another place tomorrow, but it's where we're at today. <laughs> it's where we're at today. <laughs> you know, we definitely have to do that, though, man. Have you said you? You know, the the Braves are um, they're that they could win the World Series today, guys. Now I don't know if you know, you know, Atlanta sports fans. This is the last. Well, I like the Hawks. I don't. I quit, obviously quit the Falcons, but I don't support the Braves moving to Cobb County because you know that was racist. But. Uh, I am excited to see if they can pull off this World Series, though. I mean, they're up right now. As we're recording this podcast, they're up three games to one to the Houston Astros, right? So we got one more game at home. Is that home or then in Houston? Do you know? I have no idea. Okay. I know the last two were at home, but I don't really remember. But either way, this is an opportunity to win a World Series, the first one since, what, 91, 93? I can't remember. I wasn't here. Oh, yeah, you were still out. I was in Texas. Oh, you were oh, damn! I thought you were going to say St. Louis. I don't know where the fuck you live. I don't know where you're from anymore. Yeah, I've been everywhere. Virginia, so, Texas, yeah. St. Louis. Yep. Who everywhere. are you? Noonan now. I mean, that's. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just a well-traveled just, nigga. Yeah, man, you're that's just it. traveling to random places in America that no one wants to visit. You always got some negative. Always. Oh my God, it's all right, man. It's not like you lived in New Orleans or something, because then it'd be over. What's wrong with New Orleans? Fuck New Orleans. What you mean? What's wrong with New Orleans? If you see New Orleans, tell me you have. If you see New Orleans, you know exactly what's wrong with New Orleans. I've been there. Bourbon Street's nice. You named one road. Yeah. 
So you are very aware of what I'm discussing. Water line still on the buildings. They ain't I mean, clean shit up. Damn, for real? Yeah, bro. Bro, everywhere in the world, everywhere in, the, in America right now is getting gentrified, except New Orleans, because ain't nobody going down there. Where the nice, where the, honestly, when I go to New Orleans, I don't encounter the white neighborhoods. Where the white neighborhoods at? Anybody? Tell me where. Yeah, I don't know where the white neighborhoods are. It's not all Ninth Ward, but it's it ain't. Where's the, where's the their you know where's their rich area? Like where's their buckhead? Yeah, Bourbon Street. No, that ain't it. That's the <laughs> that's the tourist area that smells like piss. It's only the country white folks, the rednecks, the Confederate yeah. flag. rednecks, <laughs> coon ass white folks. Yeah, you got yeah, a lot of those. I don't know if I want to move down there, bro. Nah, fuck New Orleans, bro. It's hot as shit. Human fuck as it fuck. being hot, nigga. That shit going down. Yeah, but so that is shit Ca- gonna be on the water, bro. So does California. Years. California going dri- California on fire. California, goddamn earthquakes all the time. I mean, but people stay moving out there. That's different. Not to me, it's not. I mean, it's, it's, it is That's a different, different looking bro. place. Granted, you you know where the nice places are to be. To be yeah, I know? mean New Orleans, bro. Like you see. You see the levees and you see the water above your head. You like, why it, the fuck would I want to You said live this here? could go down at any time. Yeah, like yeah. But all this, that shit could break. It's a swamp. Yeah, it's a whole it's a whole swamp. It is a swamp. It's and it's got a swampy vibe, which is why, like I said, <laughs> New Orleans is the least developed place. Like some parts of New Orleans look like third world countries though. They do. I don't give a fuck. New Orleans knows how I feel about them in their city. It's terrible. It was a ter- okay, put it this way. I ain't gonna, all right, I'm gonna extend this olive branch. You can have a lot of fun in New Orleans. So I'll say this. New Orleans would be awful if it wasn't awesome. How's that? Or awesome if it wasn't awful. You can switch it either way, mm-hmm. however you want to spin it. But that's my olive branch I'm gonna extend to you, New Orleans. You guys know how to have fun, meaning all of y'all are drunk at all times because you're miserable. I understand. But. All I know is <laughs> niggas down there are real violent. Oh, bro, as shit. Yeah. Just, just a bunch of bad motherfuckers. I don't have anything bad to say about you, you people. That like y'all city is, it's a little messed up, but that ain't a y'all little. Fault. I fuck with y'all. I don't know what they about to do to you, bro. Half of them here anyway. They already. I know. Tried to burn down Atlantic Station right after the fucking Katrina. You remember that shit, bro? <laughs> Bro, these niggas, bro. Oh, <laughs> Katrina had just happened. Niggas was fleeing, you know, refugees they call them, right? Which I think is kind of a fucked up term, but you know, whatever. <laughs> to, to call your fellow citizens refugees, you know, a lot of niggas went to Houston, right? Niggas went to mm-hmm. Baton Rouge. Mm-hmm. Niggas went to a lot of places, right? And a lot of niggas came to Atlanta. Atlantic Station was just built right there, off what uh, uh 14th Street, right? Right over there. It was brand new. It looked beautiful. It was immaculate. Next thing I know, Katrina hits. Niggas move up here. And there's a record like 35 smashing grabs <laughs> just outside. The, like, God damn. You remember what it was like when the niggas from New Orleans moved to your school? Tell me you don't. I do. How was that? It was different. You know, but <laughs> it was a whole, it was the, wild. At the time, that was when Clayton County lost their accreditation. So we niggas had, couldn't talk. Yeah. We had New Orleans niggas. <laughs> and Clayco. That's terrible. That's the worst. That was the worst school ever at that point. Yeah, what the, the fuck? All the white kids started moving. All the white families. Oh, yeah. Nah, it's time to go. They wasn't yeah, having they that shit. Moved. Nobody was going to get an education at that in that environment. My friend AJ, mm-hmm. he moved. Yeah, it's time to go. And nigga went to Elka. That's hilarious. He said, mm-hmm. I got to go. This ain't. Yep. I can't. I can't, I can't <laughs> expand my scholastic mind in the midst of all this violence and chaos. Yeah, it was wild. How many school fights did y'all have in that period? I can't even I imagine. Even tell you. I couldn't even imagine how that increased. Couldn't even it's a relatively you, peaceful campus, and all of a sudden, niggas was fighting every day. It, it was it was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and like, yeah, you wanted to feel that, bad because niggas was displaced, right? I didn't know nothing about that shit. You know, niggas man, was displaced. Bro. Niggas, you know, niggas lost their houses, shit like that, houses. Here you go, throwing shade. I don't give a fuck. They the these Orleans. niggas know how I feel about them. I don't even know why. I think I think what it is was 
I hate the Saints, and then on top of that, I hate everyone that's moved here from New Orleans. That's also what's because they're all Saints fans. So like, I have to dislike them now because the Saints. Look, I may not be a Falcons fan. You can't. You can't carry that hate. With you. But I can't not hate the Saints. You can't. Hate I have to. Them. Just because I'm giving up my team does not mean I'm giving up my rivals. Well, you a Falcon fan? Man. No, no. I just want to see the Saints lose at all times. It doesn't have to be the Falcons. It could be anybody. It could be the Rams. See? That makes you feel happy, doesn't it? Rams fan. Yay. No. <laughs> Fuck the Saints, nigga. No, you trying to never mind. And then they got the ah, oh, I just ah, oh, I hate ah, oh, I hate them. I hate their fan fan base. It's like Cowboys fans. You hate Cowboys fans? Oh, oh I don't like it, them. It's like the same thing for me with Saints fans. Like, ah, oh, these niggas are here. You don't almost you almost I, don't want to hang out. Like, all right, bro, go on, nigga. It. Like, go on somewhere, bro. You're the worst. I get it. Yeah, see? Cowboys. Niggas hate Cowboys fans. Yeah, I do not like them. Niggas hate them because they're delusional. Yeah, I, I can't stand them. And they got that glory year, so just, just hang over your head. You know? Well, in the 90s, nigga, it ain't the 90s. <laughs> That's how I feel about the Braves. I got, all I got is the 90s and, like, well, I got the 2000s, too. They didn't win no championships. So that was good. They won, they won, like, 16 straight division titles. Remember that? Or more than that. All Atlanta teams do. Okay. What did you say? Nothing. No, repeat what you said for the people so we can know what kind of hater you are. Yeah, look into your camera. Hello. I'm <laughs> Jay Williams, and I am a Atlanta hater. Oh, damn. Just full in. Nah, nah, nah. Don't put your hand up. Put your hand back Wait. down. You meant what you said. Wait. I rock with the Hawks. But everybody wow. else can kick rocks. Wow. You even have a baseball team? Not really. The, so Bra- they, uh, the you, Braves. See? Oh, that's two out of three. Wow. You're really well, not a hater. Well. You're really not a hater. Well, when I came here, I was a Cardinals fan. So. Yeah, but you, you gave that up, clearly. Not really. I still rock with them, but I don't watch baseball like that. Really? You don't? I mean, I don't really watch it like that either, but I, I used to watch it a lot. Yeah, I used I to love like baseball. That. that was like one of my first first – Loves was base watching baseball. Yeah, that's, I can't watch it on TV. It's crazy. I used to be able to. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, but I used to really more. be able to. See I could listen to it on the radio, which is crazy though, right? <laughs> yeah, that is it's, crazy. It's different. Yeah, and go to a game. That shit. That shit fun. But watching it on TV, no. Yeah, too boring. Well, before we wrap this up, I might as well. How long have we been on here? I don't know, but about. This was a quick one today. You know, we wanted to just pop in and talk to the people, you know, give them something that they need. But before we get off this thing, man, um, we want to do a little temperature check. We haven't done that in a while. Scale of 1 to 10, man, how you feeling? One being, you out bad, it's about to be over. I'm about to walk off a bridge. 10, I'm doing the best ever. How you doing right now? As he yawns. I am so <laughs> that boy sorry. tired, boy. Go ahead, man. I'm probably like an eight. That's pretty good. So why eight? Like, what what's got you there? What's what's the what's got you so in such a good spot? Uh, you know, just everything going good. You know, yeah. that's very that's specific. It, that's it. Work yeah. works going good. Uh-huh. Wife is great. Baby's great. Yeah, blessings all around. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's what, all. What, that's all I got time. What for could make that. you? What could make it a ten? I'll make it a ten if I yeah. get sleep. <laughs> That's a tall order, boy. Yeah. <laughs> so I gotta make all this shit right. If I and get, get sleep. If I get sleep. Yeah. Then it'd be a 10. But everything great, bro. Yeah. Well, that's good then. Damn. I'm glad that's that's the notes we need to end these podcasts on, man. You know. Me personally, I'm like probably a seven, you know. Just under you. Like not doing 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 good, you know. I'm a C. Solid C, you know, I'm passing. Mm-hmm. You know. Um C's get degrees. C's do get degrees. That we all know. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Got one hanging up in the crib. <laughs> hey, put in the comments if you can guess Jay's GPA in college. <laughs> <laughs> if whoever guesses it gets a gets a gift card, a fifty dollar gift card. Whoever can guess Jay's college GPA. Oh man. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you should guess my GPA in the spring <laughs> of 2010. <laughs> <laughs> guess that motherfucker. Then oh. you get a hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Two contests out. <laughs> Somebody guess. <laughs> but yeah, man, no, I'm, I'm a seven, man. I think you know, 
the seven is just because you know there's so much more I gotta try to do and be efficient with. You know, I'm still trying to, you know, learn how to, you know, kind of navigate all the different interests I have. You know, and all the different ventures I've kind of put myself in, and and mm-hmm. and how to find a way to be successful in all of them while still giving time and attention to things that may not be so tangible, right? You know, like business stuff is one thing, and I call everything else kind of like extracurricular, right? So this is a business. What we're doing is a business. This is, it takes precedence. All the different things take precedence. But, you know, sometimes sometimes the relationships that you have with people can kind of fall to the wayside. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't really talk to very many people throughout <laughs> the week. You know what I mean? I don't so. Either, bro. You know, but you you know you have your family, you have your nucleus at this point. Yeah. Right? So it's that, that's cool. You know, that's that's okay. You kind of leaning into that nucleus and putting all that attention into who needs it the most. But yeah, me not having that kind of nucleus all the time. You know, like I said, relationships just kind of kind of you know get distant. You know, in general, you know, from hell, me me and my brother, like we don't talk as much as we used to. You know, like that, just because it's hard to. Everyone's so yeah. busy and everyone's trying to get to where they're trying to get to respectively and those things can kind of fall the wayside so probably a seven once i navigate how to navigate those relationships or the extracurricular a little better i think that'll raise the score but you know as far as business stuff things are going fine they're on an upward trajectory so i can't complain just got to keep putting work in you know that's it you feel me man keep grinding keep grinding but shit on that note man ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for joining us again on another episode of the mud political podcast we do this once a week. Don't forget to follow us on Apple Podcasts, uh, Spotify, Google Play Store, YouTube. Please don't forget the YouTube, man. Give us five stars too, right? You give yeah. us four stars. You don't. You a hater. You a hater, man. <laughs> hey, we do this once a week, like I said, and we'll see y'all next week.